Hello and welcome to this presentation. Today we will talk about Oracle UPK and especially how we use it to leverage the effort generated during the testing phase and the training phase of various IT projects, allowing us to save precious time. You probably know Oracle UPK already. You know that it can generate e-learning material, job aids, training guides, PowerPoint presentations and so on. One of the features of UPK that is rarely used is the ability to generate an Excel test case. Here at CN, our testing tool is HP Quality Center. We also have a testing center of expertise that governs the best practices and requirements for our test grades. Because of those strong requirements, we had to tweak UPK to match the expectation of the testing center of expertise. Let's see why we did that. Writing a test script is a long, tedious manual process. UPK would allow us to tremendously speed up the process. Using UPK would allow us to eliminate all manual entry errors, bringing consistency to test scripts. For example, some people say click, others say push or press. It will also bring every tester down on the same level of accuracy because UPK is capturing steps. Those steps are the most granular level of detail. Once we have a capture from a test developer, the training team working on the same project benefit from it as well. The training team has a first pass at the training material from a SME point of view. And in some cases, we even included voice recording to save even more time. Finally, UPK allows us to bring a comprehensive level to testing. Instead of thinking in business components first, the developers can focus on the transaction and then break it up into business components. Because we had two different roles now playing in UPK, we had to come up with some kind of light process. The testing team and the training team would have to sit down together and discuss the development strategy. For example, they're going to discuss about the training curriculum, naming conventions, folders, where do we put material when it's in development, check-in, check-out procedures, and so on. Once that is decided, the testing team can start capturing test scripts. Once they have captured the test scripts, they can publish them and export them into Excel. We have come up with a custom CN template in UPK. Once this Excel is published, it can be cleaned, information is added eventually, and then it's imported into HP Quality Center, where the test is manually executed. And eventually after, we can automate even that test script. The training team benefits from that capture from the testing team. They reuse the existing material from the test script. They clean this material, they eventually reshoot, and they publish for end user the various outputs that we know. Let's take a closer look at the script creation. We use the simple travel and expense creation. On the left hand side of your screen, you see the person designing a script manually. On the right hand side of your screen, you see a person designing a script using UPK. We can see that using UPK, it took the person 14 minutes to generate a test script and import it correctly into HP Quality Center following CN testing guidelines. The person developing the same test script manually is taking more than half an hour to do so and that without business component. Let's review our custom templates. We have created a custom publishing template for our test script. Let's see why. Because we use parameters in Quality Center, those have to be identified properly in the Excel file. They are under the format triple chevron p underscore name of the parameter triple chevron. The template is an XML file located in the system folder of UPK. It's a package that you can open and easily customize without knowing programming languages. We chose to create a parameter wherever there is a text entry field. For us, it's what made the most sense. You can choose to have parameters on whichever type of field you want or on whatever type of action you want. Here is the Excel file result. You can see that the parameter has been automatically created using the name that has been picked up by UPK on the system. This Excel file is ready to be imported into Quality Center. Let's have a closer look on automating UPK-generated test scripts. Whether you have developed the script manually or using UPK, 
The process is the same to automate. We start in Quality Center from the test lab and we go under the Design Step tab and click Automate. Then we come here and we launch Quick Test Pro. From Quick Test Pro, we're going to open the proper project. And come here to choose the proper business component. Here are the steps that we have imported. The way we do things at the end, we're going to delete those steps, export them to Excel here, and then re-import them individually as comments. This is done because we use the Object Explorer. Let's see how this works. So first we add all the steps manually as comments. We will add the objects in between the steps. The comments are just here to guide us. For the presentation purpose, we will do only a few because the process is long. Now that we have our steps, Let's insert the real execution objects in between. So here, SAP Logon. Specify the type of action. Then insert a new object. That is, launch the transaction for the travel expense, PR05. We insert a new action. Then we need to identify the object. In PR05, what did we did is create. So we're going to launch SAP and go identify using the object finder of HP Quality Center, the create button. Here, we click on create. We see that HP Quality Center Quick Test Pro has identified the object. We're going to save this object in the repository and come on to fetch it after. We're adding also the object for the pin number or the personal number and we're saving those objects now let's go back to our automated test with we insert the step between comments and this one is going to be an object this object we're going to fetch what we have created earlier the personal number. As mentioned, the command serves as guidelines. The rest has to be manually done in between. Now, let's run the test. We launch SAP. and come back to Quick Test Pro to run the automated test. It's going to be quick, but we see that the transaction is launched, the personal number has been entered, and the Create button has been pressed. We have measured tremendous savings. To give an accurate estimate, we can say that 50% of the test script creation effort can be saved using UPK, and that is without mentioning the time saved by the training team. You can take that measure as a proven index, saying that using UPK, you can develop your test script 50% faster than manually. The reference in the industry is 6.5 hours for a complex script, with parameters and business components. We can therefore come down to 3 hours for a test script developed using UPK. I let you do the math for your projects.
I would like to thank everybody who have participated in this initiative. First, my colleagues, our testing center of expertise called QTS, the folks from Oracle for their help and support, and I invite you to contact me should you have any questions. I hope this presentation will help you set up a process to leverage UPK in earlier phases of your projects. Thank you and bye-bye.